Hi YouTube, so today I decided to do a uh, the, the second part of my 50 random facts about me uh, video that I had started last week. Last week I posted numbers 1 through 25, and today I'm going to be uh, posting numbers 26 through 50. Basically my camera just uh, wasn't going to be able to handle that long of a video, and it shut off on me, and I'm not very good at editing. Actually, I know nothing about editing at this point, I hope to learn soon, but for now, I apologize. It looks really sloppy, and I'm sorry, and I'm professional, but I'm learning. So here we go, here's the second part, and let's just jump right in. Number 26, I have an obsession with old castle ruins, particularly English, Scottish, and um, Irish, Welsh, that whole area, um, medieval castles. Oh, I just love it so much, it just calls to me. I don't have any English, Scottish, or Irish blood in me, but uh, for some reason their, their, their history is the most interesting to me, it's particularly their, the medieval history. Number 27, I feel very sensitive to energy, I guess you would say, in old places in particular, and I guess that's probably why I'm drawn so much to castle ruins, but I enjoy it. Um, I I don't feel frightened or annoyed. I just feel like, it's like, it feels like traveling back in time, and I really enjoy that. Number 28, I've always been drawn to Halloween-y things. Even as a toddler, my favorite uh, cartoons were Beetlejuice and The Addams Family. Number 29, I have a three head instead of a four head. In case you don't believe me, I've got three fingers right here to prove it. <laughs> Number 20, or 30, my DNA test actually revealed that I have literally twice the DNA, the Neanderthal DNA, as, a, as the average human. Um, so I think that might be why I have a three head. Number 31, I sleep on a floor pallet, like a, um, like my my bed is not like a normal bed or like a mattress. It's like a foam pallet on the floor, like how some people do in Japan. Um, I just feel it's more comfortable than pretty much any bed I've ever slept in, so that's what I do. Number 32, my favorite kind of dance is tribal fusion. And I'm one, which is, for those of you who don't know, who don't know it's like a modern twist on belly dance. Um, and it's a fusion of different um, types from around the world rather than it being purely Greek or Turkish, Egyptian, whatever. Um, it's a, it takes a little bit from all of them. It's very beautiful. I love it so much. I'm very passionate about it. I'm gonna try not to talk about it too much because I'll just, I'll just, like I said, I'm passionate. I won't shut up. I'm thinking about posting some dance videos on here. Let me know if you'd like to see something like that. Number 33, I love raw gems. So like a gate slices, druzies, crystal balls, anything like that. Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. I just want to collect them all. Number 34, I am a Slytherin and proud. Number 35, I subscribe to BoxyCharm, Alcrate, Dollar Shave Club, and Burial Grounds Coffee. You've heard me talk about Burial Grounds Coffee in the past, and you will keep hearing me talk about it every time I make an order, probably, <laughs> or anytime I try something new. Um, same with BoxyCharm. Alcrate, I've only received one box so far, and I, I still need to do a review on it. And then I'm, and about next week, I should be receiving my second box. Really excited about that. I'll post a video for that as well. Dollar Shave Club, uh, there's not really much to say other than it's a good company. I highly recommend it. Um, it's an important part of my hygiene. So, um, number 36, I hate grocery shopping with the kids. I love grocery shopping, love spending time with my kids, do not like to do those two things together. So, I order all my groceries through either Instacart or Boxed. Um, Number 37, I'm a Pisces and a water sign, and I'm a very stereotypical Pisces and water sign. 38, one of my adult teeth came in baby tooth size, and I'm really self-conscious about it. I mean, you've probably noticed by now, but it's that one. I really want to get a crown or a cap put on it, but um, it's just wildly expensive, so I have to keep putting it off. Number 39, even though I regularly, regularly do a lot of different makeup looks for Instagram, um, I know that I'm not very good at makeup and I know that like I have a lot to learn <laughs> but um, I'm okay with the fact that I'm not great at it. Um, I, I'm not really looking for tips necessarily. I'm just I'm just enjoying learning. I'm enjoying the art form because that's what it is to me. I'm having fun. It's, it's play for me. Um, number 40, I am obsessed with Monster High dolls. I would like to do a photo series on Instagram where like I take I make do different makeup looks inspired by some of my favorite Monster High dolls. 
And number 41, my kids' names are Damien, Avalon, and Cade, but if I hadn't, um, if I didn't have to like compromise with their father, then their names would have been um, Michelangelo, Gemma, and Valentine. Number 42, if their sexes were reversed, the names we picked out for them were Layla, Tristan, and Evelette. Number 43, when I was a kid, there were three states that I used to always say that I wanted to live in when I grow up. Um, and remember that game MASH from the 90s? Actually, I don't, I don't know exactly when that started, but in the 90s when I was a kid, we'd play the game MASH. And you'd have to write down a few different places that you would like to live. And I always said Virginia, California, and Florida. And as an adult, without even trying really, it's just because of different job opportunities or whatever, I have actually lived in all three states as an adult. My dreams came true. Number 40, where am I? Number 44, I've been married twice, but never had a wedding. I have just never been able to bring myself to drop that kind of money on something like that. Um, it's crazy because it's like, I always dreamed of having a wedding as like my whole life. But then when it came down to it, I was like, ah, should we really be spending this much money? You know? So, um, you know, no, no judging, no judgment for people who, who do spend a lot of money on their weddings. But um, I just couldn't pull the trigger with uh, spending that kind of money on, on, on a celebration. So, um, number 45, if I ever became rich, I would donate everything over to hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, because I read that, um, anything over like $200,000 a year has no effect on your quality of life. So it does not make you healthier or happier to have anything more than that. And so I feel like in a time of such, you know, um, inequality in wealth and, um, just how people are doing, there's so many people who are suffering who are literally dying of starvation in our own country even. Um, and there's just, there's so much inequality that I would not feel, oh, I feel like it would be immoral to hoard a lot of money just for the sake of hoarding it. So I would donate almost all of it. Um, number 46, although I'm a huge Harry Potter fan now, I didn't, wasn't interested in, as a, interested in it as a kid. In fact, the first time that I had any interest in it at all was when I was 15 and my friend invited me to go to the movies with her to see Prisoner of Azkaban. And I just went because, you know, I, I wanted to go to the movies and I just want to spend time with my friend. And uh, she went to see Prisoner of Azkaban and I loved it, I fell in love with it. Which brings me to my next one, which is number 47. My dad used to work for a book publishing company. So we would get, um, like when books would, would be published, he would, he would let us, he would get them for free. The company would give them to him for free and it'd be like a couple weeks before the actual release date. So we could read all these books um, a couple weeks before they were actually released and we just obviously were not allowed to talk about it online or in the public or whatever. So um, we had the first five books at the time that Prisoner of Azkaban came out the first five books were out. So um, they were just gathering dust in my brother's room. None of us were interested in it. And, um, but after I watched the movie, I came home and over the next four months, I read all five books. So I was hooked since then. Ever since then, I've gone to the movies to see each movie whenever it premiered. And you know, I got the rest of the books. And when I became, when I was about 20 years old, is whenever I just went like full blown Potterhead. So <laughs> I've been I'm much more of a fan now as an adult than I was as a teenager. Okay, so um, number 48. Um, I used to believe in, I don't know if I ever believed in karma really, like the whole idea that you get what you deserve. I think I always wanted to, I still wish it, I believed in it, I still, or I still wish it was true. But you know, I just sadly, I, wow, this is dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to get dark. I just feel like um, it'd be wonderful if you know good things happen to good th people and bad things happen to bad people but i just i'm not seeing that but despite that number 49 um i i love being a good person i it doesn't i that's never wavered that you know the, the way that i view the world does not affect the way that i treat people i always treat people with kindness um because i think people need it people really need your kindness and so um you know your concern should not be what punishments or rewards you could get for your behavior. You should just be a good person for the sake of being a good person. Um, so number 50, when I first saw Kathleen Lights, I could not stand her. I'm so sorry. It sounds so bad. But for some reason, I watched 
you know, the a couple more videos of hers and I became hooked. So it was like, I don't know, it was like the two videos that I saw that I was just so annoyed. I was like, why is she so annoying? She had uploaded those during the same week. So I don't know, I guess she was just having an annoying week or whatever. I guess it just happens sometimes. But I thought she was so annoying, but I'm so glad I stuck it out because like now I'm a huge fan of hers and like I collect the things that she puts out and I watch every single one of her videos. And, like I race, I race to her videos every time I get a little notification and she's a huge inspiration to me. So Kathleen, if you ever see this, which I, I doubt, but if you ever see this, I'm sorry that, that I said that you annoyed me, but just know that you have inspired me so much and that you're my favorite YouTuber. Okay. Well, that's all of them 50 random facts about me. Let me know if you want to hear any more details about any of the questions or any of the uh, things, the facts that I gave you about me, or if you just have some other questions for me, I would love to answer them. So uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.